the problem with everyone is they're coming at this wrong. See, Super Pets, I was trying to prove with the video game that goes with it and everything that Grant's going to play, that um, everything can be like laser energy projected at the audience for games and, and animated movies, you know, really conveniently. So the energy it takes less render units like it's LiDAR. But efficient and actually, you know, working with render pipelines with AMD is how I like to do it. Um, so, like, you have lines of light. Like, for example, I already said this. That's why I was saying it's all technologies, ironically, and it has to bring them all together in order to work in a movie theater. Remember what I said? I said you know, the uh, my QLED screen thing, but I said it's, it accepts light from the back because it's backlit. And of course, you know, it's backlit, like I keep yeah. repeating, by, you know, a dot matrix of the round pixels yeah. of light, you know, yeah. like an orange camera. But see, I'm always thinking, here's how so I think. actual laser. Yeah. Here's how I'm thinking. Yeah, he, he he got me around to what I was thinking about. I had to think for a second because I didn't think it through fully before I started the video, which is, okay, Simu Liu released a movie that was, that we watched on a polymer screen, and we had, you know, polymer glasses on for the 3D, and it made it grab and soften way better because of the rounded polymer effect on the light. And it was beautiful, and it got me thinking, Google Glasses were supposed to come out in 2012, and I don't know what the fuck is going on with that, but it seems like they were having issues figuring out how to render reliably the laser light onto the glass, and so it seems to me, I just realized... That when it comes to VR goggles and all of that, everybody's going at it wrong. And Super Pets, they could learn something here further. Because that's why I invented the idea, and Grant did, is because, like, the goggles, you can't just have lasers, you know? Like, there's stupid, retarded movies where it's the future, and, like, stupid little micro-robot clamps grabs people's eyeballs and, and, like, hold them open, and then, like, lasers, like, shoot different colors into their eyeballs and, they like, download data to store in their brains, and they can only hold an amazing 1,000 megabytes, man. Like, John Carmack makes the joke, like, as though that's how much, you know, people's brains these days can hold data, and it's kind of true, you know? It's sad. But my point is, the solution for this is just, you have a piece of polymer that's however thick with different refractive that layers diffuses that it. automatically diffuses the lasers and makes it soft and palatable for your irises. So it doesn't tear them to pieces and make the cornea spin around like a digital safe in a stupid cracking movie. Um... And the lasers are, of course, set at a frequency in the first place yeah. where they're not dangerous to your eyes anyway. Because we, we already have the, the, the research into four, you know, laser screen projectors at movie theaters like we watch different movies. And it already looks great with polymer screens, you know, on the wall. And, um, you know, laser projectors, I'm pushing for the new Nintendo console to be called just the Nintendo Project. And then it just projects... And it's so that we need to get this technology going because we need to have little convenient laser projectors on all the walls and ceilings and floors and like even on like the uh, like the pussy cleft, you know, every every part of the theater. So then like the rooms are just like saturated with projections at different angles and it's like you're immersed in the especially like a 3D digital realm. If it's not even real actors, it's just a cartoon movie or something, you know. We need to push forward because we already have like VR stage projections. Where the hell is the VR stage implementations on the front of, you know, movie screens below them? You know, like, like this little stage area sometimes or whatever could be built even. And it could just project just like the, they have Michael Jackson projections that run at, at anywhere, you know, at, at Vegas or something still, hologram on stage. Well, just do that project up certain scenes to scare little kids, you know, and have them wet their pants, you know, like, um, say it's a Jurassic Park movie. How much would have the movie been incredibly enhanced by the fact that the dinosaur was like, 
looking at the handler, you know, like from the point of view, like it's nearer the audience. And then it like turns around and looks like there's a hologram on the stage in front of the movie Which screen. Which a lot of movie theaters have stages. Yeah, they, a lot of them have it anyways. Small stages even. It's like, come on, guys. Like, it's so limiting. And because we've held back all the technology, then it holds me back because then I have to keep pushing and, like, coming up with ways to goad people with exciting projects so they have the motivation to even continue along and get to the next stage of what we need to get to. Um, yeah. I guess that's enough thoughts. Uh, yeah.